Hi, and welcome back at 645. Gen Z, millennials, Gen X, and boomers, for the first time ever, four generations are working together in the office. So the question is, can they all work together happily? RJ Marquez, breaking it all down, asks if it's possible for each age group to value each other at work. Take a look. Lisa Bates recently retired from nursing after 38 years. I was always older than everybody that I worked with. Almost half of all baby boomers say they disagree with millennials' work practices, while a quarter of older workers are seen as out of touch by younger colleagues. But are we really all that different? Generations tend to want many of the same things. They tend to want to have control. They tend to want to have autonomy over how they accomplish their job. And they tend to want respect. Managers need to facilitate conversations with their employees, let each one know what the other has to offer. The older employees often have way more experience and exposure. Reverse mentoring is also becoming popular, giving the younger employees opportunities to find new ways to approach old problems, create diverse teams, and provide opportunities for the different generations to get to know each other. They both may end up learning a lot. I learned so much from all the young kids, like, oh my gosh, so many cultural things that I, I, I lost touch with that that's the best part about worrying, working with young people is. <laughs> One of the biggest frustrations for workers under 30 is outdated technology. 27% of millennials dislike emails as a form of communication and actually prefer face-to-face -face or phone conversations. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.